West Ham United are closing on and closing in on their third signing of this summer transfer window as Flynn Downs looks like he is on the, his way to West Ham United. A medical booked in the next 24 hours, according to Darmesh from Sky Sports News. All of that's going to be discussed in this video. Before we get into it, though, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to West Ham on official if you are new. Go and check out our interview with Tony Cotty if you haven't already seen it. We did that last night. Please go and check that out if you haven't already. Also, check out our channel sponsors, SRM Carver & Son, by clicking the link in the description at as well. So yeah, um, something that's kind of burst on the scene today, even really in the last couple of hours. And now it looks like we are set to sign um, the now Swansea player and uh, West Ham boy uh, as well. But let, but let's start off with what we've heard from Darmesh. Also, the uh, the Athletic have come out and said that, that this is nearly done. So Darmesh said West Ham United are closing in um, to to, fi to finalise a deal for Swansea City midfielder Flynn Downs. Fee under under discussion is believed to be worth twelve million pound. He's told, um, um, Darmash has been told, West Ham are increasingly confident of completing the move. He then went on to say Downs is to have his West Ham medical in the next 24 hours. So it seems like everything, everything is pretty much done uh, if he's having his medical tomorrow um, or Friday, perhaps. So, yeah, it's good. It's almost as well. It's come out of nowhere and now it looks like it's done. We're actually, you know, I you know how long, how long? How long, how long ago we identified this player, I don't know. But it's really, you know, the rumours and the and whatever has come on the scene today. And it looks like we're going to sign him tomorrow um, or Friday. This is what we want to see. We want to see us identifying identifying players, it, going out to everybody that we're linked with them and then signing them like that. Not dilly-dallying around, you know, still worrying about Lingard. You know, we've already lost Hickey and Lewis Potter pretty much, I think, uh, this summer. We've both gone both gone to Brentford, um, I believe. So it's good to see that we're getting another championship player in. Um, and um, and, a, and, a, and a West Ham boy as well. He said he, said he used to go to Upton Park quite a lot. Um, his family are West Ham fans. He is a West Ham fan. And he is a kind of like central midfielder who can play um, more attacking and can sit back uh, in front of that back four as a defensive player as well. So really, I think um, he's probably most likely going to be a Mark Noble um replacement obviously I think we're probably going to need to get two centre midfielders in um so that said so maybe this is one of them to kind of play that Mark Noble role um that he played uh, last season and pretty much the season before that as well so and then we and then and then we'll look um and then we'll look to sign hopefully another centre midfielder but also where does this leave Thomas Suchek a few people have um asked that uh, in the last few um in the last few hours I don't think it really changes his position to be honest with you I think he I think I think he stays starting because we do need to sign two centre midfielders because we've let two go. So the logical thing to do would be to sign two. Um, and it looks like we've nearly signed one. So I don't think uh, the situation really changes uh, for Thomas Suchek, but it's good to see that we're going out and getting the midfielder done. Another one from the Championship as well. Let's have a look at some of his stats then. 37 games last season, one goal, two assists. It's all right, isn't it? You know, for a, for a midfielder, um, it's not, you know, ripping up trees, but... At the end of the day, we're only paying twelve million pound for this player. Um, hopefully, um, he will he will he will become a very good player. Of course, only twenty three years old um, as it stands. Twelve million pounds. I mean, it's 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 not much, is it? You know, it's not it's not it's not a massive percentage of our transfer budget. If our if our believe transfer budget is around or over a hundred million pounds, I don't know. You probably don't know what a transfer budget is, but it's not a huge proportion of it. So it means we can probably still afford to get another centre midfielder, a striker or two, and a left back. And I think we're done. Um I can see us I can see us doing the bare minimum, but this has been sprung on us and I like it. I like it. You know, we've been told, yeah, in advanced talks, medical tomorrow. Done, you know. No, no, no problem, no hassle with it. You know, there's no, oh, let's wait three weeks, you know. Um, it's still going on. Now Newcastle have came in and they're trying to hijack the deal, but it seems like we've won the race. I believe Crystal Palace are in the race to sign him as well. We've came in and we've swooped him, which is good to see, and it's very unlike West Ham. So hopefully this is and um, this is uh more to come. Uh more 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 of the same, please. Uh West Ham as we as we sign um our third summer transfer, sign your fingers crossed. But there we go. Um it's set that Flynn Downs is going to sign for West Ham United, fingers crossed, in the next few days. Medical set for tomorrow or the next day. And uh, yeah, then we can focus on other positions and uh, probably just steer away from Lingard. Please, West Ham. But anyway, thanks for watching. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to West Ham Official if you are new. I'm out of here. Is Flynn Downs a good signing? Put it in the comment section down below and I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.